groom's arrived. Hello. How are you? You look very good. I'm, yeah. I'm not you, nervous, you look pretty nervous now. No, no nerves, nothing. The nerves.
ladies and gentlemen, and on behalf of our bride and groom, I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to the coach and horses, which has been duly sanctioned according to law under the provisions of the Marriage Act of 1994 as a place for civil marriage. My name is Jan, I'm the Deputy Superintendent Registrar here today, and this is my colleague Wendy, who is the Registrar of Marriages for Richmond. And actually, if Wendy wasn't here today, these proceedings would not be valid. Marriage is a unique partnership in which two people affirm their love and lifelong commitment to each other. And so you are all here today to celebrate and witness the joining in marriage of Morgan and Kate. I do solemnly, solemnly declare. Sorry, I'm the struggles with that word. <laughs> I do sometimes. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I Morgan Ross Reed Gibbons. Why I Morgan Ross Reed Gibbons. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Katie Emma Carney. To Katie Emma Carney. Thank you. Kate, your turn now. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. <laughs> that I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Uh, of any lawful impediment. Why I, Katie Emma Carney. Why I, Katie Emma Carney. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Morgan Ross Reed Gibbons. To Morgan Ross Reed Gibbons. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our bride and groom have both declared that they are free to marry one another and they will now contract their marriage before you. As this is the most important part of the ceremony, I ask you all to please st to stand to share this very special moment. <coughs> Turn and face each other. We're now going to say the words to each other that will make you in law husband and wife, and they constitute a formal and public pledge of your love for each other. So once again, Morgan, you're going to go first. The group goes first throughout the ceremony. Once you pronounce your husband and wife, that all changes. Just remember that. <laughs> okay, can you repeat after me, please? I call upon I call upon these persons here present these persons here present to witness that I Morgan Ross Reeve Gibbons to witness that I Morgan Ross Reeve Gibbons do take the Katie Emma Carney do take the Katie Emma Carney to be my lawful wedded wife to be my lawful wedded wife Kate, to be repeat after me, please I call upon I call upon these persons here present these persons here to witness that I, Katie Emma Carney, to witness that I, Katie Emma Carney, do take the Morgan Ross Reeve Gibbons, do take the Morgan Ross Reeve Gibbons, to be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. Thank you. I hope you're going to say we will to my next question. So, in the presence of your family and friends, do you promise to love and care for one another, to share the difficult times as well as the happy times, and will you stay together as a married couple for your entire lives? Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Now, the wedding ring is an unbroken circle. It has no beginning and it has no end. And it symbolises unending and everlasting love. And they are an outward sign of the lifelong promises that you're making to one another today. Now, traditionally, the wedding ring is worn on the third finger of the left hand because it used to be believed in ancient times that there was a vein that ran directly from this finger straight to the heart. Now this myth has since been disproved, but the tradition carries on today. So, do you like to understand? Can we have the rings, please? Come on, sweetheart. How nervous I am. Right, Morgan, if you'd like to place the ring on your wife's third finger, left hand, okay, and then you can say the vow that you've chosen to say to her. I promise to care for you, to remain true to you, to be your friend, and above all, to love and respect you always. Okay, push it on. That's it, is it on? Yeah. yeah. Jolly, good, okay. And then, Kate, if you'd like to put more things, bring on his third finger left hand. Okay. Um, I 
promise to care for you, to remain true to you, to be your friend, and above all, to love and respect you always. Okay, that's it good. Okay, just turn and face me. Hold hands. Kate, okay, you've both made the declarations prescribed in law and you've made solemn and binding promises to one another here in the presence of your family and friends. And these special promises have been symbolised by the vows you have made to each other and the giving and receiving of rings. And so I hope that your love will continue to deepen through the years as you now enter a new phase in your life together. It's a great pleasure and privilege to have You are husband and wife and more than you can lady of the